loaded down with attitude for the like 20 pairs of shoes. Who you gonna call now? He had told everyone. And I mean everyone. He told my mother. He told his own mother. He told the police and his work colleagues. He told his friends at the bar, our neighbors, the postman. He even told the painter who was redecorating our kitchen. Everyone knew. Even the guys at the petrol station and the kids at the arcade. He had even told customers at the butcher's shop that he sooner or later was going to kill me. So no one was surprised when he actually did do it. They all knew he was going to kill me. They all knew it was coming. Yet the paper said, an unexpected fit of madness. Who were they killing? Unexpected. When he had been trumpeting it to all and sundry, for years and years. No. Mine was a planned and foretold, announced loud and clear like motherhood to the Virgin Mary. It was as plain as the light of day. Not bad in a country where no one ever knows anything. They call Italy the country of mysteries, the kind of mysteries that never get solved. Ustica, for example, or the Bologna train station bombing. What do we know about those? Still not a clue. Did anyone ever figure out who was responsible? No. But when I died, Everyone knew right away that it was my husband who had done it. How couldn't they when he actually had basically been promising it to them that he would and then kept his word? I guess that's something at last. But there's one thing that still bothers me. If everyone knew, why did they let him do it? And why did I?